let's discuss the different types of stringing machines on the market. The three main types of stringing machines are a drop weight stringing machine, a crank or a lockout stringing machine, and electronic constant pull stringing machine. A drop weight stringing machine is going to be the least expensive stringing machine. A typical drop weight stringer will cost anywhere from $150 to $250, give or take. So it's definitely an affordable way to, to get started. In the case of a drop weight stringing machine, it is a constant pull machine, which means the string will be constantly be pulled by the tensioning device. In this case, the string is being pulled by gravity, as its tensioning device is simply a heavy cylindrical weight at the end of a lever that is lowered until it's level with the ground. We select our tension by putting the cylindrical weight on the mark corresponding with our preferred tension. And on the lever that you'll have with your drop weight stringing machine, it'll list where to put the weight and there's going to be a mark on the weight where to line it up where you want to tension the string. So look at the lever, it says 50 or 55 and that's the tension you want. You just line up your weight with that mark and you are ready to go. To tension the string with the drop weight machine, you just wrap the string around the tensioning knob and you basically use it kind of like a a gear where you're going to turn and then lower it, uh, the lever, until it is parallel with the ground. You want it to be as close to parallel as possible uh, to the ground, so you may have to kind of ratchet it back and forth to, uh, to make sure it gets level. Once the lever is parallel with the ground, you can use your floating clamp to clamp tension, and then you can just lift the lever to release the, uh, the tension on the string, the, the string that you've had after you've clamped tension on the string in the racket. Again, it is time consuming to use a drop weight stringing machine. As a professional stringer, it would take too long and, and it probably wouldn't be as accurate as you want. There really may not be a reason to pay more than a, what a, you pay for a drop weight stringer if you're just stringing for yourself and, and not going to do it professionally. So it is a great option for many stringers. All stringing machines will come with a mounting system. This is what we use to keep the racket in place while we tension it. We want to make sure the racket is firmly in place so when we pull tension on the mains going vertical and the crosses going horizontal, that there is no shift in the frame of the racket. It's very important for it to stay in place. Two points, it's the cheapest option. Keeps the racket at the six and the 12 o'clock position in place. It's definitely the most affordable. The drop weight that I, I have has the two point mounting system, but not necessarily. I've seen plenty of drop weights with a six point mounting system that we'll discuss. Uh, and most two-point mounts the will have what's called floating clamps or flying clamps. These are just clamps that we use to when we tension the string to keep it in place. Uh, it just means that the uh, clamps are not attached to the machine. Fixed clamps are actually attached to the machine uh, on nicer machines. We also have a six-point mounting system. This actually mounts the racket and keeps it in place on all sides, not just the six and twelve. Uh, basically, the entire frame of the racket will be kept in place by these. Uh, by this mounting system. Nicer machines will all have this system and make sure the racket there is no shift at all when you uh, pull tension. So a six point mounting system is, is ideal for professional stringers. Another type of stringing machine is called a crank or a lockout machine. A crank or a lockout machine will be faster than a drop weight machine after you program what tension you want. Uh, it locks it into place, that's why it's also called a lockout. It's different than electronic constant pull which will We'll talk about a constant pull always pulls tension, but a lockout, once it pulls tension, it will lock into place. So it's important on that initial pull or on the pull that you clamp or tie off that you have the correct tension because it will lock into place after it pulls tension. But this is a very quick way to string a racket and it's definitely a step above the drop weight stringer, which is why it's going to cost a little bit more. A stringing machine that many professional stringers use is called an electronic constant pull stringer. The most expensive, but it's also the fastest. Basically, you just electronically program where you want the tension of your racket to be, and it will pull tension on that string. Very accurate. The reason why it's accurate is it's constant pull, as opposed to the lockout, which gets tension and locks into place. In this case, the constant pull will always pull tension until you press the button to release tension. So you press the button to pull tension, it'll pull and it will continue pulling it to have that calibration at the right tension until you press the button to release. So it's a very accurate way to get tension in case you ever pull tension and the string shifts a little bit, you'll lose a little bit of tension. But the electronic constant pull, it won't let that happen because if the string shifts, it'll continue pulling at that right calibration to make sure it has the right tension that you selected. Those are the three main types of stringing machines. The stringing machine you get will depend upon how many brackets you're going to string, how much you want to spend, like I said, if you're just going to string for yourself, it may be a good idea just to buy the 
drop weight stringing machine to see if stringing's for you and you enjoy it. A step above that is the crank or lockout stringing machine. And if you string professionally, it's really a good idea to have an electronic constant pull. It's well worth the cost. Baby